Hey guys, it's Erin and Jenny with Revisions Mentor again. We are here to provide you with tips and tricks and insider secrets to staging a home for real estate or for starting your own home staging business. Absolutely. So do us a favor, subscribe to our channel, hit like below and hit the bell for notifications and you'll get to see our videos. We have so much information to share with you as you begin your journey to start a home staging business. Today we're going to share with you how we earn a thousand dollars a piece in one morning of work. One morning. So here's the backstory. I have a preschooler. He goes to school at 8.30 in the morning. He gets done at 12.30. So I am limited by the amount of time that he's in school that I can do actual work, right? So what we do is we prepare ourselves the day before so that we can do our installation in that three and a half hour time period, including the travel time to go and be at the preschool on time to pick him up. And we each walk away with a check for about $1,000. And here's how we do it. It requires a little bit of planning the day before. Um, actually, to be fair, uh, several days before. Mm -hmm. um, really kind of putting together the idea about you know which pieces of furniture, uh, furniture that we need to mm -hmm. go into the home, you know which rooms we're staging. That requires just some organization and kind of making our list yeah. of, of what inventory that we need. So that when the day before installation arrives, we can really get down to it and do all the prep work in, uh, required so that we're ready to go morning of. Yes. Um, and kind of thinking about the prep work that we do the day before. Um, so we have our, our move-in day checklist, our staging checklist that we go through. We make sure that we have you know, the exact number of pieces that we need for each room. We have all of, all of these lists ready. If we know that we need to pick up a couple of extra things, if we know that we need more pillows or some bedding or a handful of accessories. Mm -hmm. We'll do a quick run to our local uh, accessory store, uh, grab everything we need there. We have a pretty quick system. We can be in and out of these stores mm -hmm. um, because we've done it enough times. Right. And then I think the next thing that we're really focused on is the transportation issue. Um, if we're using a moving company to do this particular job, we get on the phone, we confirm pickup times, days, crews, make sure that we've got all those logistics in place. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes we rent our own truck and do the moving ourselves, depending on the size of the, of the project. Mm -hmm. And um, if that's the case, uh, we go over to the U-Haul and do the 24 hour rental. Mm -hmm. um, we get that truck the afternoon before so that we can get busy loading. Um, and that's worked out really well for us mm -hmm. to load our inventory the day before yep. and um, really free up the, the morning of to get to our site, do the installation, and get home so that Erin can pick up her little guy. So I get my little guy. So this is why congruency within your staging inventory is so important because it makes making those selections go so much faster and so much smoother and being super organized using those very detailed checklists that we will provide to you if you click on the link below. Using your detailed checklist will help you get in and out and get that job done super quickly. Um, yeah. And kind of to expand on what you're saying with that congruency, we've talked about this before and we will talk about this more, but um, all of our furniture mixes and matches. Every piece of upholstery works with every other piece of upholstery. Our coffee tables all mix and match. Our lamps, our accessories, everything is in a real congruent uh, color scheme and style, uh, which really lets us use what we have. We don't have to overthink it. Yep. Um, it makes the process go a lot smoother. It does, mm -hmm. it does. And just a little preparation, you know, the day before makes things go a lot more quickly. You wanna double check and confirm with your builder or your real estate agent or your homeowner. Make sure that you have a key, make sure you have access to the place. Make sure that you have permission to hang things on the walls. Um, some people have strong opinions about whether or not you're allowed to put nails in their wall. So get all of these little pieces in place so that when you get there, you're not scratching your head saying, gosh, how, where's the key? We have to wait for the realtor. Things like that waste a lot of time and we're always in a time crunch. Yeah. So. Make sure you have your signed contract. Absolutely. Preferably have your check in hand so that you're not chasing down that homeowner or that uh, builder after your work is already done. Mm-hmm. And I think one of the other things that um, is super important is to pack your toolkit the night before. Yes. Make sure that you have all of those pieces. And we have a fantastic um, download that is available to you. If you click on the link below, you can have a free download of that 
um, document that's, that kind of shows you everything that we include in, in our toolkit when we go, from cleaning supplies to tools mm -hmm. to, um, you know, all the odds and ends that you need to have on hand so that you don't find yourself in a pinch and short of, you know, hangers for artwork or, yep. um, you know, cleaning supplies for getting smudges off of uh, glass shelving. Yes, absolutely. And it saves you time in the long run. It means you're not doing more runs out to the job site to, you know, tie up loose ends. You can get it all done in one fell swoop. You get your loading truck or your, your moving truck back to the rental place, get in the car with the car seat, get to the preschool on time for pickup. So that's how we each make about $1,000 in a morning. And so, you can too. That's right. So if you have questions, leave us some comments below. Give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And we look forward to hearing from you.